So the wig cap that I put over my braids to hold them in place, I have not taken that off since June. So I have not seen my hair since June. Yeah, uh, I just took off my wig cap and here it is. Y'all ready to see it? <laughs> All right, y'all, so I just took off my red wig, my burgundy wig. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. I'll link it in the top right corner. But I just took that wig off and I have not seen my hair since June. I got my hair braided down in June. Uh, my mom braids down my hair. And yeah, I pinned up my braids, like my braids are long. So I had to pin them up. And then I put my wig cap over my braids to hold them in place so they don't like fall or like, so, you know, my foundation stays flat or whatever. Um, So I put the wig cap over my braids and then um, like when I do bald, caps and stuff i just do a second wig cap on top of that one so the wig cap that i put over my braids to hold them in place i have not taken that off since june so i have not seen my hair since june so i just took my red wig off and then i was like you know what i want to see my hair today so and it needs to be washed i haven't washed it in four months so i just took that wig cap off like 30 minutes ago and then i decided maybe i should film this because um i don't know maybe some of y'all are interested in seeing it so yeah uh i just took off my wig cap and um here it is y'all ready to see it <laughs> This is my hair. Y'all should have seen it when I had like, when the braids were still pinned up, like my hair was stuck together. But yeah, this is my hair. I have not seen her since June. As you can see, ooh, my arm is tired. Um, As you can see, my braids, my parts, you can't even see them anymore. But yeah, you can't even see my parts no more. But like, obviously like, if you separate it, if I separate it like this, you can see it but yeah this is what my hair is looking like this is all new growth right here so yeah all this right here is new growth this right here you know this is how much new growth i have but yeah um this is my hair this is how long it is in braids it's a little jacked up i look y'all i look so crazy like ew and i got like all this build up right here from gel and got to be sprayed that i've sprayed like doing my ball caps or the gel i put in my hair to keep my edges slicked back it's a lot going on in there right now but yeah this is my hair right at my under boob and then here's the other side oh this side is a little bit longer because it's past my under boob over here so i just decided to film this i don't know i just thought somebody might be interested in seeing it um or some people might just think it's just so crazy that i haven't seen my hair in four months or haven't washed my hair in four months but this is what i be doing for real like i get my hair braided down and wear wigs for months at a time but right now it's been like that lately because of all these wig videos i've been having to do and um, i've been working with a lot of wig companies so it's just been too much to you know keep taking my braids down and redoing them and all that so i just leave them in braids just don't bother my hair and then i wash it when i feel like okay that's enough you're pushing it you're pushing it probably two three months ago but you're really pushing it now so but yeah this is what i do so i don't know what this video is going to be called um taking out four month old braids how i prep my hair for wigs or whatever probably both i'll put both those things in the title because i'm gonna take the braids out and then i'm gonna also show y'all how i prep my hair for wigs when i wear them for months at a time and wear my braids for months at a time so yeah, I'm gonna show y'all me taking these out. I don't even wanna do that, cause girl. My hair is really thick. If you've never seen my natural hair before my channel, I posted it before, but if you see my natural hair, it's very thick. I mean, very thick. And I just, I don't wanna take these out. Cause I already know it's gonna be like, this section up in here is gonna be a little tangled. This down here should be fine. But when I get up here, girl, we gonna run into some problems. This is my situation right now. So uh, I'm gonna wash my hair. So I'll be back. No, I'm gonna take these braids down first and then I'm gonna wash it. I don't think I'm gonna record me washing it. Cause I really don't have nowhere to set y'all up to show me washing it. And and like the lighting where I wash my hair at is terrible. So I don't even know, I'm probably not gonna film that part, but I'll show y'all like, you know, the products I'm using, the order I use them in, what I do with them, you know, whatever. I'll show y'all all that and explain all that before I go do it. And then I'll just come back after it's done. And then I'll show y'all how I prep my hair after that, um, like moisturizing it and stuff and getting it braided down, which I told y'all my mom braids my hair down. So, you know, I just have to go right down the hall and get my hair braided down. So that's what we're gonna do. So if you're interested in seeing that, please stay and join me and be here for me because I need, I need, I can't. Y'all, last night, me and my boyfriend, well, he cooked, well, I kind of helped, but he was cooking. We tried that TikTok, y'all probably have seen it, maybe not, I don't know, but that TikTok, that salmon and rice girl, she put like the salmon, rice, sriracha mayo, soy sauce, avocado, and seaweed 
roasted seaweed. Yeah, I'll put it over here if you haven't seen it before, but we made that and that was good. And I want some more. Also, look at the new nail set, y'all. That's gonna go on the website. It'll be up on the website by the time the video is up. So if y'all want this set, the sweater nails, it'll be on the website, available in fall colors and also this nude pink. Sweater nails, so cute. Uh, whew. Okay, the braids are out. I've gotten some shed hair. I'm saving all my shed hair and I'll show y'all everything at the end. After I wash it, I'm gonna save all my shed hair so y'all can see how much shed hair I have after four months. Also, I just realized that I said that I haven't seen my hair since June. I have because I got my, I got um, knotless braids in June and then my birthday was in July and I got my hair braided down. Like the day before my birthday or two days before my birthday, I got my hair braided down. So I have seen my hair. The last time I saw my hair was in July. I got my hair braided down for my birthday, so. But I have not washed my hair since June. This is what we have right now. Like I said, I have really thick hair, as you can see. Yeah, super thick, so. For me, I have to wash my hair in sections or, you know, I'm gonna be in there all day cause I can't, I can't deal with this. So I wash my hair in sections. So I'm gonna just, I should have been twisting it up as I was taking the loose cause it was already like kind of parted off. You know what I'm saying? I'll just start with this section right here. I usually do like six to eight sections. It's what it takes for me to do my hair efficiently. All right, so we got eight sections now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight sections. So I'm gonna be washing my hair in these eight sections right here. <sighs> Say a prayer, a long one. All right, so I'm gonna start washing my hair. Let me show y'all what I'm gonna wash my hair with. All right, so I'm gonna go wash my hair with the Suave Daily Clarifying Shampoo. Get all this buildup gel got to be 
all this out of my hair. And then I'm using, I bought the matching shampoo to this, but um, I need this clarifying shampoo to get all the stuff on my hair. But anyway, the Garnier Whole Blends. Oh, this says shampoo. I got a wrong freaking thing, girl. Here we go. The Garnier Whole Blends Repair and Conditioner, the Honey Treasures one. It repairs and men's dry damaged hair. This is what I will be washing my hair with. These two products right here, washing and conditioning. So when I wash it, I'm gonna shampoo twice and then I'm gonna put the conditioner in it. I'm gonna detangle it while the conditioner is in there. And I'm gonna rinse that out and then I'm gonna do a deep conditioner or a hair mask or something. I don't know. After I detangle, I'll show y'all what I'm gonna do. Actually, I'm gonna ask my sister because she be doing like, she be making hair masks like with food. She be blending up stuff. Cause she like all in natural hair. She know all about natural hair stuff. She has a natural hair care line that she's starting. Well, she has already started. She only has one product out right now though, um, which I will be using. I'll show y'all that later when we get there. But yeah, she knows like all about natural hair stuff. So I'm gonna text her and ask her what, she, what kind of mask I can do or make. I look disgusting right now, y'all. Like I look so pale and dry and lifeless. Like what is wrong with me? Okay, so I have conditioner in my hair right now. I've shampooed twice and then I just put the conditioner on. Now I'm gonna detangle and rinse it out. Where's my white tooth comb? Also, I wear gloves when I wash my hair. Um, Obviously with conditioner too, cause my nails begin caught in my hair and then it also helps with slip, like, you know, so that's why I have these on. We're halfway there.
One more. I'm done. I'm gonna rinse the conditioner out of these sections. I don't even wanna do a deep treat, a, a mask anymore. I don't even think I have one. I'll look and see. I'm gonna rinse this out. If I find a mask, I'll come back when I'm putting that on and then we'll get to the moisturizing part and I'll go get my hair braided down. I wanna go to bed. Hey, um, so lucky for me, I don't have a hair mask, which is great because I don't want to do one anyway. I, didn't, I just can't deal with this anymore. But don't be like me, you know. I could go get one from the store across the street. They close at 10, it's 8.20. But um, my head's wet and I'm not going outside. So yeah, we're just gonna um, skip that step, you know. We shampooed and conditioned and uh, yeah, we'll just move on to moisturizing now because uh, that's all I really have left in me anyway. <sighs> I changed t-shirts because I tied the one that I was wearing around my head. So, so we're gonna do the um, LOC method. I might need to spray it with some more water, I don't know. But anyway, for my leave-in, I'm gonna do the coconut and hibiscus curl style milk by Shea Moisture. Girl, there, Jesus. So yeah, this is for my leave-in. My sister said to use this for a leave-in. And then my oil, I'm using Soft Organics. Focus! For my oil, I'm using Soft Organics Quencher Hair Oil. This is my sister's line, if you didn't know. I mentioned it before though, but yeah, I'm a twin. And my sister made this um, hair oil. She made this hair oil herself. This is something that she came up with that she's been using over the years. Um, her hair is way longer than mine. Her hair is at her butt. Mine is like waist length right now, but yeah, her hair is at her butt. But anyway, this is something that she came up with and she released it this year. So I'll link in the description box if y'all wanna go purchase that. Uh, you should go purchase it. But yeah, this is what I'm using for my oil. Oil. This is the only thing I've been, that's the only oil I've been using on my hair, by the way, ever since she dropped it. But yeah, I use that like when I um get my hair braided down, I put that in the parts to moisturize my scalp. I also use it to take off my wigs. So, you know, there's that. It's a very versatile, you know. I just take the little dropper and drop it all across the lace. Then it comes right off. So, yeah. And then for my cream, I'm going to use the Coconut Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture. I'm sure y'all have all seen this or... But yeah, so that's what I'm using in that order. Let's go ahead and get started on that so I can get my hair braided down before my arms fall off. <laughs>
Okay, I'm not using this, um, the coconut hibiscus curl and style milk. I'm not gonna use this no more. Um, I never used this before, but my sister told me to get it. I was just asking her about this line from Shea Moisture. She said I could use this as a leave-in, like when I do the LOC. But this is like impossible to get. This is a new bottle. Like why is it so hard to squeeze this out of this bottle? They don't make no sense. It's so stiff. So I'm not gonna keep doing that. I done did three of them like that, but I'm not gonna do that no more. So now I'm gonna just do water. Water as the liquid, and then the soft organics, quench your hair oil, and then the curl and and smoothie because I don't know what they caught themselves doing with this. This is impossible to get out of this bottle and it's a new bottle. That don't make no sense. But yeah, that's what I normally do anyway. Just water, oil, and then a moisturizer. But I just want to try something. It's like some new products. Yeah, we're just going to do water, oil, and then the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Okay, I'm all moisturized now. So now I'm about to get my hair braided down. I'm not gonna record that because my mom doesn't wanna be on camera. So um, I'm gonna go in there and just get my hair braided down. So I'll just show y'all when I'm done. But yeah, this is all I do after this stuff. I just get my hair braided down and that's really it. So yeah. All right, y'all. So I'm all braided down. As you can see. So uh, yeah, this is how I prep my hair for wigs. Probably not gonna wait four months again because girl, I was detangling for two hours. It never takes me two hours to detangle my hair. And that joint was tangled at the root. Like where my hair grew out, where the new growth was, tangled. The rest of the hair was fine, but up towards the root, my hair was so tangled. My hair has never been that tangled. So maybe next time I'll just wait two months instead of waiting four, cause girl, mm -mm, that was too much. And my head from detangling and all the tangles I had up in there, my head is sore. My arms are sore. Everything hurts, okay? So, um, zero out of 10, don't recommend um, doing that again. But yeah, I'm gonna wait two months next time before I wash my hair. But yeah, that was me. Oh, I forgot to show y'all my shedded hair. So, so this is my shed hair. So yeah, this is four months of shed hair right here. All the hair that came out from when I took my braids out, washing, detangling, uh, when I was moisturizing. And I didn't have any when I got my hair braided down, there was no hair, so this is everything. It's probably the most hair I have ever shed. But then again, this is the longest I've waited to wash my hair, so yeah. But yeah, y'all, so that is me taking out my four month old braids and how I prep my hair for wigs. And then I also like to take that hair oil again I told you about uh, from my sister's brand and put in my parts so i'm gonna go ahead and do that before i forget And boom, that is how I prep my hair for wigs. And then I'll just install my wig the next day. So I'll be installing one tomorrow because uh, I'm going to the movies to see Halloween Kills, my boyfriend. So, and then we're going to the fair the day after that. So I didn't know my, why my skin is so dry right here. And I didn't even notice. I'm probably looking crazy the whole time I've been filming. Yeah, I usually like to wait just like a day just to get my hair time to dry some. And then I just pin it up, pin my braids up and then put on a wig cap. And I just leave my wig cap on because I don't have time for my braids to fall out of place because it took too much to get it up there. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's my routine. And yeah, that is it for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. 
you don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.